Hey guys, Jess here. I know that, oh, this lighting's kind of funky. Ugh. I know that it takes a second for people to pop on. So I'm gonna let you guys do that. And hopefully, I'm in my bathroom because um, my kiddos are downstairs with a babysitter so I could do this. So we're in this new house still. Still haven't fully gotten things set up for an office yet. So hey, <laughs> you get to join me in here. Um, so yeah, so I'll let you guys pop on. I'm gonna pull up my notes here. And I hope you guys are all doing well. Do me a favor, I'm gonna go ahead and give you a little call to action just like Meg was talking about yesterday. So why don't you go ahead and shout out whose team you are a part of, which superstar team you are a part of um, in this training. Go ahead and pop on. I know, I, are you guys hearing me? Um, I don't see any comments, but I can also look on my computer. It might be the way that my computer is turned or something too. Whoa, well that was interesting. Um, oh yay, okay, I see you guys, yes. Okay, you guys are popping on. Yes, tell us whose team you're a part of. That is awesome. I love it. I love it. Marcus, hey, representing TFE. Love it, love it, love it. All right, guys. Well, I'm going to get us going here as you guys are a part of this. Great. Yes, just keep on posting whose team you're a part of. And I'm going to go ahead by just starting and sharing a little bit about myself. I won't go into a huge bio, uh, but just so you kind of know who you're talking to because I don't expect you guys to know who I am or um, follow me or whatnot. But again, I'm Jess Pasola. I'm a former worship director and director of connections at a church in Minnesota. And, um, and I became a coach about two and a half years ago. I, oh, I went diamond really fast and I went superstar in 23 months. It's been an incredible, incredible ride with Beachbody and I have enjoyed so much of it and um, totally have had ups and downs, but I've grown so much as a person. I've gotten out of my comfort zone. I've pushed myself. I've grown as a leader. I've grown um, in my prayer life. If you're the praying kind, <laughs> I have grown in my prayer life so much. Um, God has just taught me more and more and more about who I am in this business. And um, it's been a blessing. So I hope you guys are also taking advantage of just learning as much as you can. Um, you know, I know Meg touched on that yesterday or Wednesday. Um, it's so, this is such a blessing, guys. I didn't have this. Um, I would have killed for this. Like, are you kidding me? To get to learn uh, from just some incredible, incredible people. So I know my lighting's kind of funky, um, but we're gonna go with it because it's what I it's what I got right now. So cool. Um, <clears throat> so a little again, a little bit about who I am. Um, just grew really, really fast, but just have learned again so much. Um, something that. I teach my team. So today we're going to be talking about converting challengers to coaches. Um, 12 out of my 16 diamonds in my first business center started out as challengers. Okay, so they started out as challengers and they became diamond coaches. I know that you guys have probably heard the vital process that kind of came out last year about starting them as challengers and converting them to coaches right? Well, that has kind of always been my theory. And then I've attracted some go-getters along the way. And, um, and it's funny because, you know, also 12 out of my 16 diamonds, all those 12 told me no twice before they said yes. So as you guys are doing this training and you're inviting people to the coach opportunity and you're like, man, all I'm getting are no's. Guys, that is normal. You are normal, okay? So don't even sweat it. I look at the nose as like this opportunity and this check off my list. I never think of it as like this horrible thing that I'm rejected or something. Look at it as a seed 
planted. It takes the average person seven times to hear about something before they're gonna commit. Okay, so you might be the first time that they hear about something. Your consistency, like Meg talked about, your consistency on your page might be the third, the fourth, the fifth time, whatever, and your second invite or your third might be the seventh. So be consistent. And here's a little tip for you, something that I heard over Super Saturday weekend, be consistent or be non-existent. Guys, your consistency with your follow-up, with your posting three to five times a day, your conversations need to be consistent. That's all I'm gonna say about that, but be consistent or be non-existent, so important. Okay, so something that I realized early on is that in order for my challengers to trust me enough to want to be a coach on my team, it all starts with building that relationship before they're even a challenger. Guys, it starts with the conversation. And if you are finding yourself now, like you're like, I don't have anybody to invite. Like, I don't wanna just cold invite, I, but I don't have anybody to invite to the coach opportunity. You need to be having more conversations. That's what it comes down to. You need to be having more conversations quality conversations. I'm not just saying quantity ver, you know, over quality. No, they have to be quality, but you might be needing to just do a little bit more. Um, a system that I teach my coaches is called 532. It's five conversations a day, nothing about Beachbody, three invites a day uh, to a challenge group or a free group, and then two invites to a personally sponsored coach to be a personally sponsored coach on your team. When you're doing a training like this, you need to even amp that up. It might be 10, 6, 4, right? So, um, <clears throat> so it's definitely something that I think starts again with, i got to plug in my phone, I just realized, uh, but it starts with the conversation and building up trust. And so that five, really those conversations that have nothing to do with Beachbody are really just an equation. An equation that comes from GoPro and it's comment plus compliment plus question equals conversation. And, um, and it, that to me is so great because it keeps you accountable as you're building those relationships. When I'm building relationships with people, I'm thinking of them being a coach on my team. I tell my coaches, create a list of 30 people for your dream team, like Lindsay Matway talked about. Create your list of 30 people for your dream team and love bomb them. And what I mean by love bombing them is you are liking their stuff, you're commenting their stuff, you're not going back to like, you know, 2007 liking their stuff you're doing it on their current stuff okay but you're liking their stuff you're commenting on their stuff now you're showing up in their newsfeed and when you send those messages to invite them you are now in a spotlight so again be consistent or be non-existent because they're watching what you're doing they all of a sudden I remember when I started to think about being a coach when I was a customer I started to think about being a coach I suddenly started seeing Beachbody like everywhere. Like all of a sudden it was in my newsfeed all the time. It was like constant. And before that, I didn't even know coaching existed. Before I was a customer, I just saw my friend posting about weight that she had lost and I was a mom who needed help. I needed help, I gained 50 pounds and I needed to lose it and I did. And it just is one of those things where you need to be in the forefront and you will be a spotlight. So also those conversations guys, they are genuine. I literally learned how to potty trade my son from looking at people's profile pictures, seeing that they had kids around the same age in their picture with them that were the same age as my son. And I would reach out and I would say, you know, do you have my question for them? You know, I'd compliment them on their beautiful children. And guys, when you talk to moms about their kids, they open up in a different way. And I would compliment them on their beautiful kids. And then I would um, ask them if they had started potty training. And if they did, if they'd have any tips, do you have any tips for me? I'm really struggling with my son. Do you have any tips for me at all? And when you invite guys or when you even start that conversation, never settle the tension. You always want to end with a question. You always want to end with a question. You never want to settle that tension. It's so important. So... All of this has to do with building that trust. You know, it's that funnel 
of starting a friendship, right? Inviting them to a free love bombing on them, inviting them to a free group, inviting them to a challenge group, and inviting them to coach. It is so important that you get that relationship going from the start. And guys, get them on the phone. Okay, so there was this graphic at leadership that said 70% of people are more likely to join you if you get on the phone with them. Get them on the phone. First of all, I don't trust links anymore. Links, like, first of all, I'd never lead with a link. But, like, that Coach Mobile app, like, I don't really trust that people are going to fill them out. Now, if they're on the phone with me and I'm walking them through the sign-up on the spot, they are going to fill it out. And by the way, Claire, I hear you. I hear you. It's scary to get on the phone. But, guys, be fearless in your actions. I know that when I started, I was shaking the first time I got on the phone with a customer, like literally shaking. And I was a worship director and director of connections at a church, and I was on the phone with people all the time. But for some reason with this, it got a little scary to me. I didn't want people to think that I didn't care enough about them or I didn't care about them more than a sale, right? So I was shaking. I was fearless in my actions. If your palms are sweaty, you're doing something right. Successful people get uncomfortable. Guys, we all started at the same spot. Nobody started out as um, an expert at inviting to Beachbody, right? Nobody started out that way. We all started just from the same spot. We all have 24 hours in a day. Nobody has an advantage. So get uncomfortable because it's the only way that you are going to get, get anywhere further in this, right? To grow as a leader. If it's super, super scary to you to get on the phone, start with voice messages. And I never start a whole conversation with voice memos. I always send them a message first. But then when I go into inviting, especially about the coach opportunity, which we will get to, I promise. But when I get to, um, when I get to inviting, I always do it in a voice memo. They hear my passion. They hear my excitement for them to lose those 20 pounds that they told me that they want to lose when I ask them about their goals. All of that is building trust, but then when they hear your voice, it brings something completely different to the table. And when you invite them to coaching after they're a challenger, they've already heard your passion to help them with their uh, weight loss journey or help them um, with their, you know, toning or whatever, they've already heard your passion for that. They know that you are going to be a good mentor because we're not bosses, we're mentors, right? So they already have that trust built up. So yes, try voice memo. It is such, such a amazing tool. And remember guys, that, that no, that's just planting seeds. Never, never, never let that stop you. I literally look at no's as like, oh good, I got that first no out of the way, check off the list. If you didn't hear it at the beginning, 12 out of my 16 diamonds in my first business center said no to me twice. My top coach told me no and told me it was part of a pyramid scheme. So before she joined and she became my top earner. So remember that. Um, I absolutely use uh, voice memo for cold market too. Absolutely. It's one of those things, again, where I start with a message and I, you know, um, get to know them and then ask them, you know, if they have any health and fitness goals, and then I go into a voice memo. Um, it's such a great way to offer that opportunity. So, again, in your challenge groups then, it's so important to continue to show them that you are going to be a good coach by, by uh, being the best challenger and showing up. Guys, in my free groups and in my chat, like in my free groups, I have signed up so many coaches. Uh, sorry, I meant to say challengers. I've signed up so many challengers for my free groups. And some of those free groups have been completely dead. I'm not kidding. We've all had those groups, right? Have you ever had a dead challenge group? Gosh, it sucks. <laughs> but I showed up every single day and I gave it my all and I was the best best dang challenger and all of my um, challenge pack, uh, I don't I hate even using the word sales, but all of my challengers that have joined me have happened from building trust in messages behind the scenes. Absolutely be the best challenger. And remember that your first impression 
is in your challenge groups or your free groups, right? So them thinking about you being their coach starts with a first impression in those groups of you showing up. So it takes, I learned in church ministry that it takes seven seconds for a person to make a first impression from the time they enter your parking lot. Think about that on social media. By the time they see the group, things need to be on point because it probably takes about two seconds for them to make a first impression, right? So you need to make sure that your groups are on point, that you're giving your all, that you are showing up. Okay, I won't harp on it too much if I haven't already, but so important. So now, once they're in your groups, what do you do, right? Like, okay, so they're in your groups. I'm looking over here because I've got some great notes to keep myself on track, just like Meg, <laughs> so I don't get sidetracked. But, um, but yes, be the first challenge or first impression. Okay, what I do in my groups is I look for people with the gift of encouragement. So everybody has these gifts. One thing that I've noticed with coaches is that we're not all health experts, but we are really, really good encouragers. And you have a passion for it, right? So I look for people that are excited, that are posting every day, that are in this challenge, in it to win it, and they're encouraging other people. I will even say, like I'll do that as a post, like, like post below, you know, a call to action, and then I'll say, and tag another challenger, even if you don't know them, tag them and encourage them today. And you will see the people that will stand out and have the gift of encouragement by the way that they do it. And with those people, I start to go to them then and I message them with a voice memo. And I say, hey, Bethany, I absolutely love your energy. And by the way, guys, this is in the first week of the challenge, okay? It's towards the end of the week, but it's in the first week. You've already had a week of preseason. Now this is the first week of the challenge. And I go, um, I go and I voice memo them, hey, you know, Bethany, I see you just are doing incredible in this challenge and I want to encourage you and let you know that I see that and that I'm so impressed with you and inspired by you. By the way, I totally see that you have the gift of encouragement too. We have an incredible team that love to encourage others, lift them up and do this as a, as a career. It's the best job you could ever have. It's so rewarding. Is that anything that you would ever consider chatting about? You know, or I'll let them know I'm praying over my team. I'm praying that God would show me the right people to bring to this team. I've done that, by the way, guys, since day one, and it was the best business move I've ever made. If that's not your thing, that's okay. But if it is, and you're the praying kind, pray over your team. Pray that God would show you the right people for your team and that he would bring you a couple people every day that you can help. And um, <clears throat> so, again, you attract what you put out there. So I attract a lot of people of faith. And I put out there, you know, I, I've been praying over my team. And you keep coming to mind. I see you in the challenge. I see your heart. I see that you have the gift of encouragement. Would you be open to chatting about this at all? And I don't say, would you be a coach? Would you be open to coaching? Because I think that that can be intimidating a little bit. Just talking about it, not so intimidating. But again, when you talk about it and we do a phone call, you're building that trust. Another thing you can do is send videos, like I have a playlist I posted about in this group where I can send videos to them and they can see my heart through a video, but they don't necessarily have to get on the phone with me about coaching quite yet. So that's a really great way to do it too. So I will reach out and I will basically invite them to coaching in that first week and I do that by validating them, by affirming them and what I see in them and the light that I see in them and then I just simply ask, would you be open to chatting about it at all? Now, oftentimes I get no. And it's usually like, oh, thank you so much for seeing that in me. Thank you for thinking of me. I just can't add anything to my plate right now. I just can't do this. And this is a great opportunity for you to combat objections in what I call, it's age old, so you've probably heard of it, feel felt found. Guys, I was working 50 hours a week outside the home when I became a coach and I became a diamond coach in 24 days because I took that power hour captive and I gave it my all. And so what I will often say is, oh my gosh, girl, I totally know how you feel. And by the way, just to encourage you, I remember that and I know what it's like to feel like you're going and going and going and there's no relief. And again, I'm doing this on voice memo. 
And I'll just say, you know, the truth is, I'm gonna be honest with you, I started coaching when I was working 50 hours a week outside the home, but I absolutely loved that this could bring extra income for my family and possibly eventually for me, maybe even allow me the option to stay at home. Even if you love your job, because I loved my job. It, it was so great to have the option eventually to be able to be at home and do this full time as my love for this grew. And, um, and you know, so I totally understand. I felt the same way. What I found is that it actually, if I could give myself an hour a day, I could start to grow. As long as I took that hour captive and I made sure that it was productive and I set timers for what I was doing, I was able to grow this business. And I can help mentor you through that if this is something that you decide eventually that you want to do. Um, another thing I did was power pockets. You know, 20 minutes um, when I would wake up, I would invite uh, 20 people in 20 minutes. It doesn't have to take that long. And you can just kind of explain, you know, then 20 minutes at lunch for follow up and 20 minutes at night to plan my posts for the next day. And um, you can just explain, you know, that that's what I found. Now knowing that, will you pray about this at all for a little bit and then we can talk more about that later? You know, or now that you know that, can you, you want to think about it a little bit and then I can follow up with you maybe next week or so and we can just chat a little bit more? And again, it's usually, yeah, that sounds good. Okay, I, I didn't think of it that way. I didn't know that that's how that worked and that's great that you'll mentor me through it. Okay, let me think about it a little bit more or let me pray about it and we can talk. Okay, so now week two, what I do besides complete love bombing them um, on their pages again too, is I... Um, on week two, I decide to spotlight them. And of course, I always ask for permission before I do that. So I'll ask like, hey, would you be okay with me spotlighting you as a challenger? Again, I see this amazing encouragement from you. I would love to spotlight you on my page. If they've lost weight, you can ask them about that. You can ask them, I always ask them, you know, is there a specific picture you want me to use or can I just go to your page and find a super cute one and spotlight you as a challenger of the week? And, um, you can highlight them again and anyway if they have lost weight I usually ask if I can highlight them with that even if it's three pounds or four pounds and what I'll do is I will um, make a beautiful graphic of them and I will put it on um, my page uh, with their permission and I will highlight them as challenger spotlight you know Bethany is an incredible mom she doesn't have a lot of extra time but she's decided to make her health a priority by giving it 20 to 30 minutes a day for workouts and eating better and drinking some superfoods that taste like dessert I'm so proud of her. I'm so impressed with her. She's doing incredible. Let's just love on her today and highlight her. Bethany, you are incredible. And what that does is I've actually started some of my coaches' businesses for them. I'm not even kidding. Because what happens is it shows up on their page and people start to like it and they start to say, congrats girl, good for you. And they haven't even done a coming out post because they're not even a coach yet. But people are, all of a sudden you'll start to see comments sometimes. Um, oh my gosh, what are you doing? I want to do it too. I want to do this. Like I want to lose some weight or, oh, I want a fun community. Great. That sounds great. How can I be a part of this? And you'll, still, you'll sometimes you'll see people do that. And then they have the option to either become a coach and have them sign up under them or to sign up under you, which is a win either way. But what I usually talk with them about is, you know, hey, like I've had coaches come back to me and say to me, you know, maybe I should try this coaching thing because you planted the seed during week one. Remember, they said no, but you planted that seed. So now they're like, maybe I should do this coaching thing, Jess, because I have people that are asking me about it and interested, and maybe I should help them sign up, and then they can be part of our next group together. And they're coaching and helping people get challenge packs and improve their health, and they're not even really a coach yet, right? So that's an amazing, amazing thing. So I do that. And whether, and, and if they don't say maybe I should be a coach, right, because that's the cookie cutter perfect answer and that doesn't always happen, um, what I do is I message them and this is where it gets interesting and I've got to give my five star coach, um, Diana Talata, huge props for this because she came up with this and shared it with us on our diamond retreat last year and it's huge. Um, what I do is I go back to them and say, hey, 
You know, we've got about a week and a half of this challenge left, and I'm wondering if you'd be willing to help me with it. I have a template that I could offer you. You can copy and paste most of it or make some of it your own and then add your own picture. But if you would help me post on Monday and Wednesday this next week, gosh, that would mean so much to me. And I would love for them to hear from another challenger. Would you help me coach the next week in the group only? And, um, and I've really never had anybody say no. In fact, I've had people say, wow, what an honor. You want me to post and you're going to give me a template so you show them that it, coaching doesn't have to take 12 hours of your day if you don't want it to. Um, you're providing them and showing them that you're going to be a good mentor to them if they decide to coach by already providing tools to help them succeed in that area. And so um, I get them to help me coach the group. And I introduce them to the group as a new 21 day challenge coach for this group. And I will share slides of actual graphics that I've used for challenger spotlights. And for this, when I'm done with this, I will uh, post them in an album in our group. Okay guys. Um, but just so you know, that's how I do it. And I share and I build them up and I say, Bethany has decided that she's going to help me coach this next week. So you'll see her posting a couple times. And I'm so, so thankful for that. And hey, if any of you guys want to help as well with either this challenge or the next one coming up, I would love to help have you help me post as well to kind of get your feet wet and just see if this might be for you or just to help post. And it's just such a fun way to get them involved. And let's be honest, they're coaching before they're even coaching. And then when you go back and you say, hey, like I know it's week three, they're kind of rounding out uh, the challenge, I can say, hey girl, so how was posting? Did you enjoy it? Like, did you like seeing people's responses? Um, you know, we've, you've got some, some love on your page. Are people starting to notice your transformation? What are you thinking about this whole coaching thing? Do you think that you'd be willing to, to consider getting on the phone and just chatting with me a little more about it or hearing some more information and we can see if this is right for you? And, um, and when you, when you offer it that way and they've already gotten some experience and gotten their feet wet, they start to realize that they can have the confidence to do this. They might actually be an incredible coach. I, my last diamond to join me before I hit 15 star, um, she's in this group with the side bet. She, um, her name is Kim Doan. She's amazing. And a little shout out for Kim. She, uh, was in my free group and I did this in my free group. It doesn't only have to be in your paid challenge groups. I did this in a longer free group that I was doing last spring. And, um, and I did this with her and she helped post. And then at the end I said, you know, I, I planted seeds with her along the way. And I said, Hey, like, would you want to do this? She jumped on board. She became a coach and she became my last diamond to go diamond for us to be a 15 star team. Guys, build your challengers up. Look for the right people. Don't count people out, but remember, not every single person needs to necessarily be a coach on your team or will be right for your team. Okay, so look for people with the gift of encouragement. Look for people that have um, that are on your heart that you keep coming back to. And continue to invite with your dream team too, but this video is about converting challengers into coaches. I hope this really, really helped you guys. I am not always good at, at answering questions while I'm presenting, so if you have questions that I didn't get to, I will try to get back to them this afternoon. I've got an appointment right after this, so if I don't love bomb you right away, just know that I will come back to this this afternoon. I will share slides in here right away so you guys can see that, so before I go to my appointment, I'll quick upload those, but again, I hope this was helpful, and ask questions away, but guys, you can do this. I want to leave you with this. You can do this. Sometimes when people are going for diamond, they're like, I mean, I'll try the group. Like I'll pay 25 bucks. Like I'll try the group. No, if you don't believe 150% that you can do this and I am going to share a quick story. So stay on with me guys. Okay. I'm going to share a quick story. I had to believe 150% that 15 star was going to happen. The week before when I was supposed to go 15 star, it all fell apart. It didn't happen. And I remember, I mean, guys, it's okay to feel the emotions. I mean, I remember being so upset, so, so upset about this. And um, 
I was praying about it and I went back in, it was Thursday and I hadn't hit 15 star. And I went back into my, my uh, page, my diamonds page. And I said, guys, I know that today was the goal, but you know what? We're doing it this week. We are going to be a 15 star diamond qualifying team on Thursday. We are doing this. Are you with me? And they all said yes. And I had to add 12 coaches in one week because of my first business center and my second business center. Something that you might not know is because I was such a fast builder, I only had 31 coaches in my first business center when I became 15 stars. So 15 out of 31 of those coaches were diamonds. And um, so I didn't have a lot of coaches to spare and I needed to add some coaches in order to be, be even be able to qualify, right? So I had to add 12 coaches um, I had to help my husband as well. He's he's a coach and uh, he has a diamond business, one star business center. But he needed some more coaches, so we needed to work together on that. And um, and it was it was stressful, right? <laughs> There's really no other way to say it. And I remember on Monday, it was a Monday before we rank it, or we have to have everything locked in on Wednesday. And I remember sitting in my car crying because I didn't think I was going to be able to do it, and I had started to give up. And I was praying and I just said, God, I surrender this to you. I don't know how this is going to happen, but I know that you're in control and I give this to you. And I just pray that if this is supposed to happen, that you provide because I'm doing the work, but I'm going to pray as if it depends on you and I'm going to continue to work as if it depends on me. And I was sitting there and my corporate mentor, out of the blue, Arno called me and he I mean, we would meet on Zoom like every other week, but he had been out of town and we hadn't met for like a month. And um, <laughs> and so I don't even know if he knew that I was like, that was the week I was going for 15 star. And out of the blue, he called me, which again was weird because he doesn't call me on the phone. And I saw it was a California number and I totally expected it for me to be like, this is Autumn Calabrese and you should enjoy my next big thing, right? But instead it was our no. And he said... Hey Jess, I don't know what's going on, but I just had this huge, um, this huge feeling that I needed to call you and tell you that whatever you're going for, you need to do it. He goes, I don't know if it's the man upstairs or what, but whatever you are going for, you need to do it. And I got chills and I, I had just been praying and then he called and I got chills and I just said, Arno. I need to add 12 coaches in the next two days, or maybe it was 10 at that point or something. And he goes, so do it, do it. Like you can do it. Why would you not go for it? Jess Pasola. If anybody can do this, you can do this and you know it and you believe. So I promise you that if you believe that you can do this, you will. So make it happen, girl. Make it happen. So that is going to be my advice to you guys. Make it happen. Guys, Diamond is 12 people. And by the way, I did. I made it happen. You know, um, I may have had some uncles and aunts that signed up to be a part of this. But guess what? They lost. I had an uncle lose seven pounds in one week. It was amazing. You know, but I, but overall, I, I had people that I prayed over, that I was working with, that I had a heart for, that joined me that day and the next day and became coaches on my team. Guys, you can do this. You have to speak it. You have to believe it. You have to decide because diamond is a decision. I really believe that. And it is 12 people to become a diamond coach. You are already emerald, so it's 10, right? Some of you might only need to add three. You can do this. And if you believe that and you affirm it and you pray over it, if that's your gig, and you give this your all and you stop not inviting anybody because nobody's going to join you if you don't invite them, okay? You have to invite them. So absolutely invite, invite, invite. And if you don't have people to invite, start those conversations. Even if you have to start a hundred conversations right now, sounds scary. Do it. It's really not that hard just to validate people and make them feel good and ask them a question, right? It's not hard to do that. It's only hard if you decide that it's hard. You know, before we started being coaches, 
we get super, super excited about what Beachbody is doing for us. And then sometimes we become coaches and we just shut down. Like, now I have to invite people to this? Ah! And it's like, no! Just love what you get to do. Love the products. Love the fact that it's helped you lose weight and that now you get to share it. How cool is that? Just like if I have a really cool curly hair product, I'm going to go to my girlfriends with curly hair and I'm going to say, guys, you got to check out this Kendra hairspray. It's amazing. Oh my gosh. Like it, I can go five days now without washing my hair because of Kendra. It's amazing. You've got to get it. It's at um, Sally's. You can get it at Sally's. You can get it at Ulta. It's incredible. You're going to share it openly. Like it's not this scary, horrible, you know, thing. Same with the opportunity to coach. You know that this is an incredible opportunity to change your entire future for yourself and your family. Invite people to it. I often tell people, like, I'm, I'm inviting you to this because, girl, when I take this team to the top, I don't want you to be mad at me and think I didn't invite you to come along on the journey. Right? Like, I learned that from Lindsay Stay. So that's what I'm going to leave you guys with. Invite unapologetically to this opportunity. It's, it doesn't have to be weird. It doesn't have to be uncomfortable. And if it is, be fearless in your actions until it gets comfortable, okay? So I love you guys. I'm so glad that I could share with you today. And thank you for letting me preach a little bit to you at the end. I'm praying for all of you. Know that. Like I could cry because my heart is for you. And I know that once you become diamond, you're not going to make a million dollars right away. It's not a get-rich-quick scheme. You're not going to make a million dollars right away, but it is the beginning to something so great, and you were destined for greatness. All right. I love you guys. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful day, and I'll upload those photos now.